Supposure waffle iron is rated at a 1.25 kilowatts when connected to a 1.8 times 10 squared volt source. What current does the waffle iron carry and what is its resistance? So first current I is equal to the power divided by the potential difference. So that's delta V. I know it looks horrible. Let's put delta V. Now the problem, it gives you the power, uh, kilowatts, and it gives you the potential difference in volts. So 100, and this is 10 squared, so it's 180 volts. And this is 1.25 kilowatts, so we're going to do 1.25 times 10 to the third watts. So we have 1,250 watts over 180 volts. And so the, the uh, current that it carries is uh, 6.994, or 6.944, I'm sorry. Now what is the resistance? The resistance is pretty easy to find, so I'm going to show you a quick way and a, and a little bit more complicated way. Uh, the resistance is equal to the change of the potential difference over the current, which we would say the, uh, the potential difference is 180, and the current was 6.944. And that should equal roughly uh, 25.92. But there's a, the more complicated way is, and actually there's two other formulas we can use. So the more complicated way is, if I start off with my, my formula for power, I'm going to try to move everything out of the way now that you got the answer. Uh, so we're, we're trying to solve for resistance. Uh, so, and we're trying to do that in, in ways where we can use either current. Um, so we want to use, either use current or power. Uh, or potential, so we we got to use potential. So, how do we solve for R when all the variables we have are current, power, and resist or uh, and potential difference? So, if you start off with the definition for power, power is equal to I delta V, and then you can multiply this by. So, if I multiply anything by uh, a number over itself, that's equal to multiplying it by one. So it doesn't change the number. So I'm going to multiply this uh, by i over i, and what I get is I get that p is equal to i squared times times delta v over i. And we saw a minute ago that delta v over i is equal to the resistance. So I get I can replace resistance into this equation. The p is equal to i squared times the resistance and then you can solve for resistance that way where you get that the resistance is equal to the power over the current squared the other thing we can do starting from right here is that we could we could substitute in for i so if we say that the the resistance is e or I'm sorry from yes yeah, so we substitute in for i so the resistance is is equal to delta v over i, and we solve for i on this, then we get that the, the current is equal to the potential difference over the resistance. Well, we have, uh, we, we can go ahead and plug this in to here, so we would get that the power is equal to the potential difference squared over the resistance squared, so the resistance times the resistance, and then it times it by the resistance, and so that would cancel out, and we get that the power is equal to the potential difference squared over the resistance and then we can solve for resistance using this formula where the the resistance the resistance would equal the potential difference squared over the power so in summary of that uh, move all this stuff out of the way we can say that r equals delta v over i which equals delta v squared over p which equals P over I squared. So any one of these formulas will independently solve for R. Alright, thanks everyone for watching. Make sure you, uh, you go down to the comments on the blog and ask me whatever questions you have. And if you aren't on the blog, if you're on YouTube, click down in the about section of this, uh, of this video and you can find a link.